Hey folks, and welcome back to part 17 of Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. Alrighty, so, last time around we managed to stop Joker's plans from infecting Gotham City and its water supply with the Titan formula he just recently made, or uh, synthesized, I guess would be a nicer word. And this time around, I think we're going to finish up here in this sewer junction and uh, try to deal with a little bit of the poison ivy problem we have going on around the island. So let's get started. When you come back to this main area, uh, the main junction of uh, these sewer paths, uh, this time around you'll have a few presents waiting around. The first one it's gonna be the Joker Teeth that you just saw that completes all of the Joker Teeth for this area of the game, all 20. Um, and also, you're gonna have a Titan that you have to fight, kind of a boss fight for the area, as well as a lot of enemies in this uh, small enclosure. It's really not that bad. Uh, I'd say that the enemies are definitely a lot of... Uh, a lot of the nuisance when it comes to this part but uh, at the same time the room is kind of in an octagon shape I'm not actually sure if there are eight or more walls because well, I'm bad at counting but uh, because the room is more circular than it is rectangular you'll actually have plenty of space to do your fighting and your dodging and everything you do uh, when fighting titans um, also, it's important to note that this is probably the best room in the game, or the best fighting sequence in the game, to earn yourself the trophy um, in which you have to ride a titan and uh, hit a certain number of henchmen. Basically, um, it relates to your combo that you have going on, and uh, again, as you guys know, when a titan loses a certain amount of HP, uh, you can get in on his back and uh, with that you can actually fight all the different henchmen. Beforehand all we could do really is uh, fight the other titan that we saw uh, while riding on the back of one of them. And this time around you can fight your enemies with it too. Uh, if you score a certain amount of combos on them, uh, you'll unlock the achievement. And again I think this is the best room in the game for it. Something I didn't actually talk about are upgrade, uh, the Ultra Bat Claw. When it comes to fighting, it's actually pretty useful. Again, it's just an upgrade uh, of the Bat Claw, so it makes sense, right? But uh, in fighting sequences now, uh, when you use your Bat Claw, whether manually or automatically with your hotkey for it, uh, you'll actually pull three enemies towards you instead of just one and that's pretty useful actually uh, I like to start off my fights that way uh, or your combos depending on the number of the enemies you have uh, the more enemies you have it's actually more useful to use because you can keep your combo going for a longer period of time without running out of enemies to actually punch uh, unless you want to go for ground takedowns and then risk uh, getting hit while in the animation. But other than that, this fight's pretty much the same. It would be much harder if there was yet another titan here, but there's just one titan that you have to defeat and a whole bunch of enemies um, that come in waves. And uh, again, if you're playing on hard mode, you will have a tougher time, obviously, because with this number of enemies and uh, you know, not a lot of space realistically, even though it is a neater room. Uh, you'll really have to watch out for their basic attacks. The lead pipes don't really matter much here. And with that, we've leveled up again. And uh, let's go for the remote control batarang, because even if you're not playing along, might be smart for me to eventually on or off screen uh, get the manual batarang throw achievement even though I have all the achievements for the game because I'm a nerd 
But with that, we have another hidden chronicle. I watched in silence as he brought in the woman. Her skin, now a venomous green. The wanton creature no longer looked like a human being, much less a woman. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Yet he has once again delivered this female atrocity to our care. Once I have dealt with the monster, I think it will be time to see if green wood does, in fact, burn. Alrighty, so last time around that we uh, caught up with the spirit of Arkham, he was talking about someone who sounded a lot like Killer Croc. And uh, this time around, he's talking about someone who sounds a whole lot like Poison Ivy. Again, seems as though these um, monsters, as he calls them, these criminals, are a lot more and more uh, present-day sounding than the earlier tapes, where it sounded like it was uh, the very origins of the Arkham Asylum. But... This area of the game is fairly simple, all you have to do is climb up this long elevator shaft using your ultra bat claw to pull down walls as you go up and then blow up one of the weights holding up the elevator. Um, when it comes to the explosive gel to that latest part, it is a lot counterintuitive, a lot more counterintuitive than it seems at first glance because you may not be sure what you have to do. And the explosive gel I placed down below in the fighting room I misplaced or used poorly because I didn't really do my research um, before the recording as to in front of which uh, garage gates actually the enemies are and in which the titan is, considering one of them actually never opens. Uh, I probably should have done that to save myself a little bit of time. And, uh, yeah, that would make the fight much easier than I had. That's what she thinks. Alright, so with that, we're back on the island surface, and, uh, we have a sniper here. Other than the sniper, we only have one or two lunatics still running about, but, uh, Poison Ivy's plants are still very much in effect. Her plant pods, um the huge plants covering the entirety of the island and all the seismic activity this that you can definitely feel. She also now starts narrating. Um, it doesn't sound like she's using the PA system, something I never considered. How is she talking to us, right? <laughs> Joker controls the PA system, obviously, because he access to all the main offices of the area. But Poison Ivy, she's just a villain. I mean, sure, her plants are growing stronger or whatever the narrative is but I'm not sure how we can hear really anyway in one of the passage gates uh, to Arkham North I believe you can pick up a Riddler trophy when pulling down this very very high vantage point wall and uh, yeah with that try to try to avoid the plant spores as much as you can they're really annoying at this part of the game because they're really, really, literally everywhere. But, uh, yeah, there's nothing really more we can do. Again, uh, this is actually the last time we're going to be seeing all the sniper activity around Arkham Island. And uh, they're in every single segment um, of the main areas. So keep that in mind as you enter different... Uh, different big areas because they're in every single one of them and also some of the final uh, Joker teeth pieces that you have to collect in the entire game are located next to the snipers in the guard towers but uh, dealing with the snipers is just the same as it always was all you have to do is make sure you don't get spotted use your detective mode to watch their line of sight with the sniper itself and then just sneak up for a silent takedown. Yep, pretty much the same. If you see me running about, kind of looking around uh, in this episode a lot, it's because I'm well aware that we don't have a lot of Joker teeth left. And uh, yeah, th since there's only 10, 
uh, instead of 20 when it comes to the main areas of the island on the actual outside of all the buildings. Uh, it's really easy to miss some of them. Such a big wide open area with only so few to collect, you know. Um, you have to keep in mind that those are probably going to be a little bit more annoying. Again, uh, nothing like the Arkham Mansion, but thankfully we've covered that on the first few runs we were there. The Joker is still absolutely hilarious, and uh, yeah, he's actually arguing with Poison Ivy now over the PA system. It's pretty funny. Uh, anyway, though, I decided to leave those two Joker teeth for a while because uh, it's, rude to keep it's pretty waiting. easy to get spotted if you're trying to destroy it. And uh, I decided to show off the ledge takedown this time around. If you're hanging on a ledge uh, beneath the enemy, whether there's a fence or not, you can just immediately take him down by uh, pressing your takedown button with the ledge takedown. It's actually kind of impressive that this late is the first time I actually show it off in the game. But, you know. I guess a little bit more retrospection should have done me uh, more work to show it off. But that's a story for another day. Or another playthrough. Um, and the last, very last pieces uh, of the Joker teeth, or pairs I guess, are in the abandoned tunnel. And uh, yeah, that's all for this area too, folks. In this video we'll actually get to collect all the Joker teeth uh, remaining in the entirety of the game, which is pretty neat. I've usually, again, never done that in a single run. I usually do a huge backtracking section at the very end of my playthroughs if I am going for the 100% completion whenever I play. And this time around it was very, very smooth. And uh, along with the storyline, I might say. So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done with the place? My babies are growing back. Come and see. So it's pretty obvious that we have to return to the botanical gardens because that's where she is. She didn't take Bruce Wayne's advice and uh, she didn't go back to her cell as, you know, rarely villains do in these superhero mythos. So uh, yeah, we have to revisit the area. Every you kill Batman just makes me angrier. Thankfully though, uh, the area hasn't really changed much. Uh, from the last time we were uh, running running away from all the mutated plants, but this time we're pursuing them. And uh, again, because it hasn't changed much, uh, thankfully there's no more rooms filled with enemies. Uh, there's not a lot that we have to cover other than getting to the room where Poison Ivy is, which is pretty cool. And... Uh, as you go along, you have to deal with her screams as you take out the plant pods, because again, uh, in this current junction of the game, they are absolutely everywhere. And they're still as random as can be on normal difficulty. So, if you can dodge roll uh, out of there, it'd be useful, you, you know. Fighting them is kind of like a painful process, because, well, you can get easily hurt. And uh, believe it or not, with these three, we have all the Joker teeth destroyed in the entire game. When you hear that little pop-up message from Mr. Edward Nigma uh, saying you destroyed them all, that uh, that's your cue that you're done. You don't have to go uh, scouring around the island all over the floors and walls to find any more pairs of Joker teeth. I've got myself a little security, Batman. They'll just die if anything happens. And uh, looks like Poison Ivy has taken over some of the Gotham staff as well. 
Uh, thankfully, there's really nothing to this. It's just a really cool design that you're now fighting some of the Arkham Guards infected with poison ivy's pheromones. Uh, just two regular enemies, really. Nothing difficult about it. But uh, I'm not sure if I noticed this correctly or not, but this time around the area, not only is it infected with all the poison ivy's plants like it was the last time around, it has a lot more shimmer to it, doesn't it? A lot more flowers. It's pretty. I won't let you destroy it, Batman. I told you to go to your cell. I was a fool. I thought the plants were in pain. Now I realize they were evolving, growing stronger. And welcome to one of the rare, elusive, real boss fights of the game, you know, what we'd actually consider a boss fight. So Poison Ivy definitely has uh, a lot of power now, and uh, as she's infused with the very, very large flower, um, she has this, I guess, grassy land that she has us fight on, this soil, right? And uh, she has a few attacks that she throws at you. As you see, uh, I'm actually pelting her with uh, quick bad ranks all the time because even though her shell isn't open, the membrane she's hiding behind, she still takes minuscule damage if you notice her health every time I hit her even behind the shell. Um, her attacks, um, she'll either slime... slime... <laughs> Uh, she'll either uh, slam her vines into the floor and create these roots that grow uh, very quickly and she'll always do that uh, in a pair, right? So sometimes she'll do it in the middle and the left like she did right here, covering most of actually only the middle of the plane we're standing on. And uh, sometimes she'll do it on the left and the right, leaving only the middle safe. Uh, again you probably just want to run or use your dodge roll or if you're kind of greedy like I am you'll try to use up as much of your time as you can by pelting her with batarangs uh, because you do have to time your batarangs really and the best case I think is actually just to spam it uh, as much when you're free right when you're not about to get hit because you do have to throw them a little bit ahead of when she actually opens up the membrane and uh, is directly weak to better ranks. As you saw, her other attack that she does quite often, uh, that she changes up along with the uh, wine whips, I guess, uh, is the little arcadey, almost, I don't know, Space Invader, uh, Space Invader-esque uh, spore pod pelting that she does and uh, while you do that you still want to just dodge roll uh, the entire time and then uh, spam your batarangs because she also opens up every now and again uh, when you've done that for a little bit um, we go into the second phase of the fight uh, she opens up her I, I suppose flower petals that protect her and uh, you have to spray explosive gel as you saw uh, to eliminate the very rest of the first health bar she has. And then in the second phase, it's pretty much the same, uh, other than the fact now she spawns more and more uh, converted Arkham staff uh, to her aid. So as you're dodging, as you're rolling from all the same attacks that may come more and more frequently, uh, you also have to deal with some regular enemies on the ground. And because it's a small area, it could be, you know, a little bit of a challenge, especially on a harder difficulty. Uh, it is important to note that the enemies can very easily get caught up in all the roots that she spawns, 
so you probably shouldn't focus on purely fighting them all the time. Uh, I personally like to fight them while we can't actually hurt Poison Ivy that badly, but if you can avoid it like right here and you can just dodge roll out of the way, uh, she'll do that work for you. She'll uh, infect all the spawned Arkham staff with her roots and uh, they do a lot of damage. And uh, yeah, she'll take them out. But again, other than that, the second phase isn't all that much more difficult. Uh, if you're good at dodge rolling while spamming your Q button, um, yeah, it's quite easy. You probably shouldn't die anytime soon here. But I do make uh, quite a few mistakes, I'll admit it. Uh, it wasn't my best go of the fight. But I really like the fight because it's one of the rare uh, classic boss fights that you have within this game, right? So, you know, uh, make it last. And it's really pretty. When she opens up her membrane, uh, all the rest, you can see all the rest of the veins or the roots of the plant actually uh, glow with this really pretty uh, green and neon color. It's really cool. Again, very well designed. And especially in this later part of the game, you can tell that the whole island is slightly more colorful than it was before. But with that, we've taken down Poison Ivy, and uh, there's not a whole lot for us to do, because Joker's surprise party is finally ready. The visitor center has been built, and uh, we're ready for the final showdown. That said though, uh, I think next time we're gonna actually deal with the last few side uh, Batman villains we haven't yet. The Riddler, and as well as uncovering who really the spirit of Arkham is. We'll be collecting all the collectibles for Riddler and collecting all the chronicles. So I'll see you guys then.